And this is Len with Santorini Dave, and I'm here with Nikos Papalaktakis yes. in Rethymno, Crete, Greece, and we're in his workshop. Good morning, Nikos. Good morning. Kalimera. Good morning. Kalimera. Kalimera. Nice. Can Kalimera. you tell me a little bit about your space here? What's yes. going on here? This what are you doing? It's a family business, uh, and this used to, and it used to be a workshop. We make here the Kirkan traditional lira, okay? It's, a, it's a, a, a job from my father. He used to work now for 45 years. And I'm working also about 22 years now. Okay. Okay, we make the lira. This is the lira. It used to be, it has uh, three strings. Okay, it's the same tuning as a violin. You play also with a bow. It can comes with three different types of wood. This is, that's a walnut, that's a uh, rosewood, sorry. You can make it from rosewood on the back side. You can make it from uh, walnut and mulberry. Okay, it's all always one piece. And this is specifically a Cretan instrument? Cretan instrument, typical Cretan, okay? Okay. We have the cedar in front, okay? And uh, there, there are just three pieces, okay? One piece on the back, always. One in front, and one is the tie, okay? And that's it. Nice. You need about uh, 100 hours to make something like this. 100 hours. One hour. So it's gonna be about 10 days. And so yeah, what is so the cost of one piece like this? It depends. Uh, we can have uh, for students uh, from 300 euro, and keeps up up to 1,000 euro for the professional like this one. Wow. Okay. Uh, something very special for this instrument, if you see here, the strings are more high, and that's why because I use my nail to the string like this, and this is the way I make the sound. Because in violin, I use my finger on the string, and also the violin, the string are very very down. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's down. Here is more up, so. And that's why, because I use my string, my, my nail to the string, so I can make the sound. Can you demonstrate? Yes. Let's hear what happened. Can you take me around your workshop? Show me some of the tools. Tell me a little bit about the different styles. Yes. Maybe show me an older instrument versus yes. a newer one. You, uh, we can have, uh, I can show you here. This is the first piece of making the lira. We always start with okay. this wood. And all of this wood comes from Crete? Yes, yes. And it's keep going to this piece. So it's a hard job, really. Okay. And you do every step of the work? Everything. Okay. All the steps, yes, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the bird on the back here? Yes, 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 yes. What is this design? Uh, they call it the, uh, I want to know that in English. Um, a duck or? No, 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 no. Uh, the, name, the name of this bird is... Uh, it will come back to you. Yes. Okay, <laughs> nice. So this is the raw, the starting with the raw wood, mm -hmm. and then carving into the piece with the uh, with the carving on the back. Yes. Always exactly. a carving on the back. Yes, always, always, always. Okay. Always, always, and this always. is a, obviously a bird from Crete. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right. Everything is from Crete. Everything is from Crete. Okay. And um, can you show me maybe what's the difference with these larger instruments up top? This is, that's not a lira. This we go to the lute. Okay. This is for Cretan music, both. Mm -hmm. And then we go to buzuki. That's a buzuki for. Greek music. Yeah, okay. can I hear so, a little bit of that? Yeah, that's a Cretan one, and that's a Greek, okay? Go.
This is the bazooki? Yes, that's the bazooki. All right. Typical Greek. Okay. Great. And this Both one up Greek. here? Yes, and that's the lute. The lute, you can say that it's a huge mandolin. So for someone who plays a mandolin, it's very easy for him to play also the, the lute. So you said that your father before you did this work mm -hmm. and his father as still well working. yeah I still met him the other day yes he's 43 years old and he's keep 43 working. yes 40, 73 sorry yeah 73. I am 43 right. <laughs> and do you have a son yes I have a son have and a are son. you teaching it's him this tradition uh, it's too small uh, it's almost uh, four months and six uh, days uh -huh. but I hope and I feel that Gun comes here also nice I'm just learning as someone who's new to Crete that the traditions are so strong, the pottery and the food and mm -hmm. the music. Tell me a little bit about, for you, keeping this tradition alive, is that, why is that important to you? And tell me about that part of your business. First of all, I'm sure that it's a good wish to have uh, this uh, traditional uh, uh, shop because uh, the island of the Crete is small, so small, okay? But uh, the god, uh, for a reason, uh, for a good reason always, keep, uh, give his life for this, in this part, because I'm sure that in uh, many, many years, he's going to bless him with all of this, uh, with all of this uh, instrument. Okay. And how long have you or your father been working in this exact space? In this space, we are from 1995. In this shop, in so this 25 shop. So, years yeah, in this 26, shop. 26 years. Back. Okay. And is the city changing around you, or the old town of Rithymno, for the most part, yes, stays very yes, similar? Exactly, exactly. It's normal to be changed, but the, the shop is still the same as uh, we get it from the first day. Right. And so, are you uh, are you one of very few people doing this tradition in Rithymno, or are there many people making these uh, like this? Well, uh, the, the Kurdan music is getting larger now. So uh, the traditional music, yes, the traditional music. Okay, so there are still there are also now more people that are making instruments. I thank, we thank God for that. Okay, because the music is one. And the people who are making the instruments are similar, like you, in a family yes, lineage. Yes, almost in the same age. Almost in the same age. Nice. Yes, and uh, there are also many uh, in the ages of uh, from fifteen and more and they starting to play very, very good instruments. Nice. And are you also a performer? Are you primarily, uh, you're both someone who makes and plays the instruments? Do you do performance or it's mostly with your family or what? It's more with my family. Okay. It's more with my family, yeah. And are all, is the music that you play, is any of it new music that you're creating or it's all old folk, Cretan folk music? I, I like much uh, the old music, okay? The old traditional music. But I can see now that many, many things that come out, new things. Mm -hmm. In it's you, good. it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. A, a mix of the new and the old. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly. Nice. Uh -huh. And do you like to have tourists come and visit your shop and talk course, about the crown? Of course, of course. Of course. Nice. It's so nice. So nice to speak to speak for your life. What What do you love? To do? Yeah. What is your love for doing that? Great. So you make one instrument from beginning to end at a time, or always working on many different ones? Uh, you can start uh, with uh, three, four, okay, and you keep, you keep, you keep, you keep uh, work with them, uh, all of them together, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, and for you, it's more, it's more easy to do that mm -hmm. for making this. Nice. And do you do custom orders, or you mostly make them the way you know? To, I used to make them, and they come here. They can try the instrument and they find what they want and they go. 
Nice. And so, like, with this lineup here along the wall, mm -hmm. are, are there differences between each of these? Yes, or they're yes, very yes, similar? Yes, yes, yes. They are the same model, I mean, for the professional ones, okay? But every lira is different because it's, it's like the people. Every people, every man or a woman is different. So the same thing happened to, happened to, 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 the, to the instrument. Maybe it sounds strange, but that's the truth. Nice. Well, and these are the tools that you use? Uh -huh. Thank you so much for sharing your life and this well, tradition with nice me. Nice to meet you and hope everything is going to go. Tell me your name once again, the name of the business and yes. where we are. The workshop we call it Papa Alexakis and my name is Nikos Papa Alexakis. Nikos, thank you so much for sharing this. I'm Len, the filmmaker with Santorini Dave and we're here in Rethymno Crete with Nikos in his workshop. Again, Efkadi Show, thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Tatak Sanapume. Tatak Sanapume. If you enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe to see more super useful travel videos about Greece and beyond from SantoriniDave.com.